Okay, so where is DLC 2? And when can we expect more Operation Medic Bag features to come to Payday 3? Well, we're going to be talking about that and more in this video, but first of all, this week Starbreeze revealed the next throwable weapon, coming to the game in the form of the Pig Tickler 187 Shock Grenade. I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide whether that name is cringeworthy or funny, but this is a crowd control grenade, so while it doesn't deal any damage, it does apply a debuff to enemies. When thrown, it sends out three bursts of electricity, which can chain between enemies and civilians. It stuns enemies for one second and then slows them for three seconds. In the clip provided by the blog, we can see it arc through a hostage and then hit two enemies, showing us a rough outline of the distance that these arcs will jump. However, as the hostage in this clip has already been zip-tied, it leaves me wondering what effect this throwable could have on freestanding civilians. Would it stun and slow them, just as it does to cops, or would it have a different effect? I could see this being quite a useful crowd control tool if, for example, using it on a room of bystanders would instantly intimidate them and get them to the floor. Take the start of the Rock the Cradle heist. It takes quite a while to shout at all the civilians and get them into the position where they can be zip-tied. If instead we could just throw a couple of shot grenades into that first room and get everyone down faster, it'd add that extra layer of functionality to the grenade, but that's likely just wishful thinking. What we do know, however, is that this grenade will synergize with the demolitionist and tactician skill lines, and also possesses the ability to instantly take out shields, zappers, and techies. The blog doesn't say anything about it having the ability to disable or destroy the techies' drones, and so we're gonna have to wait until the grenade actually makes its way into the game to see if that's the case. As for when that may be, while the blog just says it'll be coming in a future update, I'd hazard a guess and say it'll likely be the next update, in the same way that we received the blogs about the adaptive armor, fortitude, and adrenaline before the last update. On the top Topic of update 6 though, Liz confirmed in this week's live stream that they are almost ready to record the next dev update video, which normally comes out the week before an update actually drops. Liz has also mentioned that quick play is a high priority for the team, in a way that makes me believe that it's going to be one of the next big Operation Medic Bag changes that will be implemented to the game. So far, Starbreeze have kept an alternating approach to updates, where one provides us with quality of life improvements and bug fixes, and then the next brings more actual content. Therefore, if you ask me, looking at what we've seen until now, I'd say that the next update will likely be 1.1.3, which could consist of some of the initial focus points from Operation Medic Bag, like Quick Play, Mask of the Week, and some social features, like merging parties post-match, or the communication wheel improvements, before the next update is 1.2, with the Boys in Blue DLC. If I was Starbreeze, I wouldn't really want to release Boys in Blue until at least one of the bigger Operation Medic Bag changes, such as Offline Mode Version 1, or a progression overhaul had been implemented to the game. Or maybe even just the UI revamp. Liz has said that she has seen some concepts for the new UI, so perhaps that'll be coming sooner rather than later. Then again, is that just wishful thinking? Yeah, it is. But whatever way you look at it, the Boys in Blue DLC is guaranteed to bring players back to the game, whether it's a couple hundred or a couple thousand. I'm very confident in saying that a new DLC will see people coming back, even if it is just the gold and silver edition holders, though I'm equally as confident that if at least one of the major changes isn't in the game by then, players will leave just as fast as they came back. Look, at the end of the day, I'd absolutely love to be wrong and be back here in a few weeks' time talking about Boys in Blue as the next update, but unless it's one massive update, it might do more harm than good. It's been said before, the road to a better Payday 3 is a marathon, not a sprint. And so as always, let's continue the conversation in the comments section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing. And with that all said, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like on the video. If you disliked the video, drop a dislike on the video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video.